So, put a new stock on the 308. Uh, I've gone for a uh, GRS stock. This is, I think, this is the Sporter. Um, slightly more lightweight than the Varmint, uh, but it hasn't got the rear butt spike. Lovely grip on it, gives you a lovely position. Uh, third Eye Tactical detachable magazine system, third eye tactical Spartan sound moderator and of course a uh, Vortex Viper PST scope I'm very happy with that and an EGW 20 MOA rail and TPS rings and I've got my cheap uh, eBay special at this copy buy pod because uh, I don't think I can be convinced to spend that 100 and 190 plus on a, on a bipod. Uh, I'm yet to be convinced. Uh, so just doing some shooting here. First time I've been out with it at any kind of range. Uh, it's 400 yards. And it's about a six inch gong I suppose. Might see some rabbits out along that top hedgerow uh, as the afternoon starts to draw in. So might get some good long range shots there. Let's just have a little look at some of the kit. Um, got Kestrel 1000 here. Uh, I use this little bad boy quite a bit. Can't really do much without it. As you can see, there's not too much going on here today. Got a bit of a breeze picking up now and again. So there we go. MSA sword in Supreme Pro X, very happy with those. Rangefinder, uh, just the Leopold RX2, it goes out about six, seven hundred yards. Um, so what it does, when I've actually decided that you know the target I want to engage um, at what range, I use a ballistics app on my phone. This is Ballistics uh, AE, so I basically worked out, um, you know, the speed, the um, the ballistic coefficient of the bullet, um, and you've got this on mill right here, so you're looking at 400 yards, it's going to be, well, about 26 clicks, and I've just added a couple, um, just bringing it over to the left because it is gusting now and again, and it, I think it might be enough just to push me off if I'm not bang on the target.